Southern California is one of the most densely populated regions in the United States, with over 16 million individuals living in Los Angeles, Orange, and San Diego counties Dependable transportation links are essential to keeping goods and people moving between Southern California's major cities. Population growth in many coastal communities over the past several decades has led to more vehicle traffic on the roads than ever before. Fortunately, there is a 128-mile-long rail line that stretches from downtown Los Angeles across the LA Basin, south through Orange County and along the Pacific Ocean coast to San Diego. This scenic coastal railroad is also the second busiest passenger rail corridor in the United States, playing host to trains from three different passenger and two major freight rail carriers. While much has changed since the beginning in the 1880s, the railroad continues to be put to the test with new 21st century demands and challenges. However, one thing that hasn't changed is the railroad's importance to Southern California a railroad that has come to be known as the Surf Line. The story of the surf line begins in 1880 with the chartering of the California Southern Railroad. Backed by the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway, the California Southern built north from National City and San Diego with the goal of connecting to the National Rail Network. Construction progressed along the Pacific Ocean coast of San Diego County to Oceanside, where the line turned to the northeast traversing the Santa Margarita Mountains, Temecula Canyon, and Railroad Canyon before reaching the Los Angeles Basin in Riverside. The railroad was completed in 1882, but washed out in Temecula Canyon just over a year later. Santa Fe provided emergency funding to reopen the line and then funded construction of a new route that would continue north from Oceanside along the coast through San Clemente. North of San Clemente, the new stretch of railroad turned inland, cutting across Orange County to reach the LA Basin. The new route was completed in 1888 and within a few years was given the nickname of the Surf Line after the more than 50 miles of travel right along the Pacific Ocean. Another flood and resultant washout in Temecula Canyon in 1891 sealed the fate of the original route. The section between Fallbrook and Temecula was abandoned with the two ends of the line continuing to see use as branch lines for the next several decades. Following a major corporate reorganization of the California Southern into the Southern California Railway, the Santa Fe took over full ownership of the company in 1906. The surf line between Fullerton Junction and San Diego became the Santa Fe's fourth district of the Los Angeles Operating Division, known as the San Diego Subdivision. In the years that followed, the surf line continued to see improvement and traffic growth. Several portions of the original California Southern right-of-way in San Diego County were straightened out in the 1930s and 40s to increase track speed limits. Santa Fe introduced the streamlined San Diegan passenger train from Los Angeles to San Diego in March of 1938 to attract new riders. Following peaks in both passenger and freight traffic levels in the mid-1940s, demand started to decline as railroads all over North America began to face stiff competition from other modes of transportation. Train service was decreased and unnecessary passing sidings were torn up. The San Diegan was reduced from seven to three daily round trips over the course of just a few years. Finally, on May 1, 1971, Amtrak took over passenger service from most railroads in the United States, including the Santa Fe. 
Over the next several decades, Amtrak and the California Department of Transportation worked together to rebuild passenger service on the Los Angeles to San Diego Rail Corridor. More trips were added to the San Diegan schedule, and eventually, service was even extended north of Los Angeles, reaching Santa Barbara in 1988 and San Luis Obispo in 1995. During this time, there were also efforts to bring commuter rail to the surf line. Through an extended period of negotiations, the Santa Fe agreed to sell the San Diego subdivision to local transit agencies in 1992 with an agreement that the railroad could continue to pay for the rights to operate freight over the route. Following this, the Southern California Regional Rail Authority began service as Metrolink on October 26, 1992. While service did not initially begin on the surf line, Metrolink would open their Orange County line in between Los Angeles and Orange County in March of 1994, later extending all the way to Oceanside. Two other lines, the 91 line and the Inland Empire Orange County line, would also share portions of this rail corridor. Just a year after the inception of the Orange County line, San Diego began a commuter train service of its own. Coaster, originally known as the Coast Express Rail, began operations on February 27, 1995 between Oceanside and San Diego under the ownership of San Diego's North County Transit District. One final major change to passenger rail service on the surf line occurred on June 1st of 2000 when Amtrak and the California Department of Transportation officially retired the San Diegan name for intercity passenger trains on the corridor. New equipment and a sharp new paint scheme were rolled out and the service was officially rebranded as the Pacific Surfliner, borrowing its name from the surfline route upon which it traveled. Across the next two decades, several additional track upgrade and equipment acquisition projects were undertaken to improve service on the rail corridor. Today's surfline is broken into multiple sections of operation or subdivisions under the ownership of several different agencies. The river subdivision, owned by Metrolink, travels from Los Angeles Union Station south along the LA River, past Redondo Junction, and into Hobart, where it joins with BNSF Railway's San Bernardino subdivision. From Hobart, the San Bernardino sub runs southeast through Commerce, Los Nietos, Santa Fe Springs, Norwalk, and Fullerton. At Fullerton Junction, the surfline leaves the San Bernardino subdivision and enters the Orange County-owned and Metrolink-operated Orange subdivision. The Orange sub travels mostly south through the communities of Orange County, California, including Anaheim, Orange, Santa Ana, Irvine, San Juan Capistrano, and San Clemente. At the county line between San Diego and Orange County, North County Transit District takes over ownership and the subdivision switches to NCTD's San Diego subdivision for the duration of the journey to San Diego. Ownership of this final segment of the surf line is split with North County Transit District owning the portion from county line to the San Diego city limits on the south side of Del Mar and San Diego's Metropolitan Transit System, which operates the San Diego trolley, taking ownership of the right-of-way for the rest of the distance to the downtown San Diego Santa Fe Depot. The entire line is part of what is known as the Law San Corridor, a 351-mile stretch of railroad extending from San Diego all the way to San Luis Obispo. While all the individual agencies are responsible for managing the sections of the line they own, the Los San Agency Joint Powers Authority Board has overseen broad-scale planning and coordination between the various individual agencies since its inception in 1989. Union Station in downtown Los Angeles marks the beginning of the 128-mile long trip down the surf line to San Diego. This impressive terminal was completed in 1939 and incorporates classic elements of the Mission Revival and Art Deco styles of architecture. It replaced earlier structures in Los Angeles, uniting passenger trains of the Santa Fe, Union Pacific, and Southern Pacific Railroads under one roof. Today, the station is owned by LA Metro and serves tens of thousands of passengers on a daily basis. Trains from Metrolink's Orange County, Ventura County, San Bernardino, Antelope Valley, Riverside, and 91 lines all utilize the facility as their end terminus. 
Amtrak's Long Distance Coast Starlight, Sunset Limited, and Southwest Chief Trains all begin and end their journeys here as well. LA Union Station serves as both a terminus and a run-through station for the Amtrak Pacific Surfliner. This poses an operational complexity as all 12 of Union Station's platform tracks are stub-end, meaning trains can only enter and exit the station from one direction. Pacific Surfliner trains traveling through LA must pull into the station and then continue their journey by reversing direction. This is one of several reasons all Pacific Surfliner trains use cab control cars which allow the trains to change direction without physically turning the entire train around or adding a second locomotive. Future plans call for several run-through tracks at LA Union Station to allow Surfliner and other trains to stop and then continue their journey without having to reverse out of the terminal. On occasion, restored Santa Fe Steam Locomotive number 3751 pulls special excursion trips out of Union Station. The 3751, coincidentally enough, was the last steam locomotive to pull a San Diegan passenger train for the Santa Fe back in August of 1953. Two blocks east of Union Station, Cesar Chavez Avenue crosses over the Metrolink River subdivision. From the overpass, San Diego Junction and a structure known as Mission Tower can be seen in the distance. For decades, the tower managed the movement of trains in and out of LA Union Station. This work is now all done remotely by Metrolink's Dispatch and Operations Center in Pomona, California. An oceanside-bound weekend Metrolink train rounds the corner out of the terminal, beginning its short journey along the LA River. On the other side of the overpass is Metrolink's Keller Yard. This small yard is used for storing equipment. Metrolink's major central maintenance facility is located about five miles to the north. When this scene was filmed during the summer of 2019, Metrolink was in the process of replacing its fleet of General Motors Electromotive Division built F-59 series locomotives with the Progress Rail F-125, nicknamed the Spirit. The F-125 is a low-emissions, environmental protection agency, Tier 4 compliant, diesel-electric locomotive. Metrolink received a grant from the state of California's Carl Moyer program to fund part of the purchase price of the new locomotives. One of the requirements of this grant was that the old diesel engines must be permanently disabled and the locomotives cannot re-enter service unless they are upgraded to Tier 4 standards or better. Metrolink's lone F40PH number 800, a former Amtrak unit, was also replaced as part of this fleet upgrade. Several plans for the retired F59 fleet have been proposed including alternative fuel or even battery conversion. As of 2023, all of these locomotives, including five that were sold to the state of North Carolina, remain in storage with an uncertain future. A short distance to the south, the Los Angeles City skyline is seen from the 7th Street Bridge. This vantage is located directly to the north of Amtrak's 8th Street Yard, which sits adjacent to the LA River and is used for servicing all Amtrak trains that run out of Los Angeles. Santa Fe 3751 is also kept here. North of the yard, several tracks are used periodically for storing empty intermodal container-carrying freight cars, also known as well cars. The train set for Amtrak's daily westbound Southwest Chief, train number 3, inches into the 8th Street Yard for servicing after arriving from Chicago. This train runs over a portion of the Los Angeles Corridor from Los Angeles to Fullerton. Southbound Pacific Surfliner train number 572 rolls along the LA River bound for San Diego. Leading the train is one of 21 EMD F-59 PHI locomotives that were leased by Amtrak from 1998 to early 2019 for Pacific Surfliner and Amtrak Cascade service. 
They have been replaced by a fleet of 14 Siemens Mobility built SC44 Charger locomotives that were purchased by the California Department of Transportation. In the afternoon, Metrolink F-59 PHI locomotive 878 leads a 91-line train along the LA River. 91-line trains follow the surf line as far as Fullerton, but then continue east along the BNSF San Bernardino subdivision to Riverside and Paris. At the south end of the river subdivision, the Redondo Flyover Bridge carries the tracks up and over the Union Pacific Los Angeles subdivision, the BNSF San Bernardino subdivision, and across the LA River. Completed in 2001, the structure was built to eliminate the busy Redondo Junction, a source of many delays between passenger traffic and freight trains coming to and from the port of Los Angeles. A set of BNSF locomotives rolls south and east across the flyover, having just dropped off a set of intermodal well cars at the 8th Street Yard. Between the flyover and Fullerton Junction, the rail line runs mostly east as it travels across the LA Basin. A little while later, a late-running northbound Pacific Surfliner train number 573 crosses the bridge as it nears the last stop in Los Angeles. This train is running with a set of single-level Horizon Fleet cars that date back to the days of the Amtrak San Diegan. Use of this equipment has often been cited as a source of train delays as boarding takes longer than the low-floor double-door Surfliner equipment. Following the LA River crossing, the surf line leaves the Metrolink River subdivision and joins up with the BNSF San Bernardino subdivision, passing through an area known as Hobart. BNSF maintains a massive intermodal yard here where shipping containers are moved between truck and train. On a foggy fall morning in 2018, Pacific Surfliner train 768 rolls off the Redondo flyover and onto the San Bernardino subdivision. The train is about to cross San Pedro Junction and the Union Pacific San Pedro subdivision. This route handled Union Pacific traffic to and from the port of Los Angeles prior to the opening of the Alameda Corridor project in 2002. Today, the San Pedro sub is mostly used by local freights. The structure seen to the right is Hobart Tower, a railroad control tower that used to manage train movements through the junction. In early 2019, the tower was damaged in a structure fire and torn down shortly thereafter. A few miles east of Hobart is Commerce. There is a small Metrolink station here served by a handful of commuter trains each weekday. For a brief period, Amtrak's San Diegan also stopped at Commerce. BNSF built their Commerce Diesel Locomotive Servicing Facility across the tracks from the station in the mid-1990s. It sits on the former site of the Lever Brothers Soap Factory. At daybreak, Amtrak's westbound Southwest Chief flies past Commerce behind a pair of two General Electric P42DC Genesis Series locomotives. Amtrak's 20 to 30 year old GE Genesis fleet is scheduled to be mostly replaced with new Siemens built ALC 42 Charger locomotives between 2022 and 2029. 
On the heels of the Southwest Chief, a massive BNSF container intermodal train makes its way west. Intermodal trains are a common sight on the San Bernardino subdivision as they make up the vast majority of freight rail traffic on BNSF's Southern Transcon line from LA to Chicago. Container trains originate or terminate in the port of Los Angeles and carry various finished goods between the port and many major cities including Chicago and Atlanta. Some container intermodal trains also continue on to eastern railroads and travel as far east as New York. Many of these long, heavy trains have additional locomotives placed in the middle of the train and on the tail end for added pulling capacity. Shipment of raw materials is handled by mixed goods manifest freight trains which travel daily in between the LA Basin and Barstow, California. On a sunny summer day in 2019, an extra-long southbound Pacific Surfliner train 768 flies through Commerce. Most Surfliner trains run with six cars, but it is not uncommon to see longer trains during periods of peak travel. In Pico Rivera, the San Bernardino subdivision crosses the Rio Hondo Channel and then enters BNSF's Pico Rivera Yard, which is used for local freights. A few blocks away is the relocated former Santa Fe Pico Rivera Station, which now serves as a historical museum. At DT or Double Track Junction, the BNSF crosses over Union Pacific's Los Nietos subdivision at a type of railroad junction that is known as a diamond. This former Southern Pacific line gives the UP access to Orange County. The San Gabriel mountain range is visible to the north. Pacific Surfliner Train 770, which replaced Train 768 in a 2021 revision of the timetable, crosses the San Gabriel River and DT Junction on its journey from Goleta to San Diego. Part of this timetable revision resulted in a standardization of the Pacific Surfliner schedule with all southbound trains leaving Los Angeles at 10 minutes past the hour. Los Nietos is the location of the first public road crossing on the southbound journey to San Diego. Road rail grade separations over the last several decades have resulted in the elimination of most railroad crossings on the San Bernardino subdivision. A northbound Metrolink train heads for Los Angeles with an MP36PH locomotive built by Motive Power Inc. providing the power. The MP36 units were introduced in 2008 to supplement the Metrolink F59 fleet. P42DC locomotive number 99 brings Surfliner train 774 across the Union Pacific Brea Industrial Lead and through Los Nietos. This train has a mix of Surfliner and Superliner passenger cars in several different paint schemes.
Next to Los Nietos is Santa Fe Springs. The Heritage Park in town has a railroad display with several pieces of equipment, including former Santa Fe steam locomotive number 870. At the Lakeland Road crossing, an eastbound BNSF intermodal train thunders through. The San Bernardino subdivision is a busy place with dozens of trains each day. To increase train capacity, BNSF has spent much of the last decade and a half adding a third main track to the line. With the intermodal out of the way, a local freight is now visible. This is one of several local jobs based out of the BNSF La Mirada yard known as the La Mirada Local. The La Mirada Locals serve a wide variety of industries across northern Orange County. The local receives a clear signal and continues its westbound journey. About an hour later, a rather unusual train appears. This is a special movement of equipment to Fullerton Station where it will be displayed for a railroad safety event. Included on this train are Surfliner Cab Control Car number 6900, Amtrak Superliner Coach 34029, Amtrak P42 number 203 in a special Operation Lifesaver safety scheme, and Santa Fe 3751. A warm summer evening in 2012 finds the eastbound Southwest Chief, train number 4, approaching the crossing. Leading the train is P42 locomotive number 145, which was painted in a special version of the Amtrak Phase 3 livery for the company's 40th anniversary in 2011. Norwalk Santa Fe Springs is the next station following Commerce. This station was completed in 1995 and serves Metrolink 91 and Orange County Line trains. Boarding platforms are located on the outside two tracks of the four that pass through the station. Amtrak train 770 zooms around the curve at 70 miles per hour. At the east end of the station, a BNSF intermodal train powers through heading in the direction of La Mirada and Fullerton.
six miles down the line from the Norwalk Santa Fe Springs Station and about a mile and a half east of the La Mirada Yard is the Buena Park Station. Like Norwalk, this station is also built on a curve. It was opened in 2007. Knott's Berry Farm Theme Park is a short distance to the south. In December of 2009, a northbound weekend Metrolink train makes a station stop in Buena Park. For a period, Metrolink leased several single-level Comet commuter rail cars from Frontrunner in Utah to increase capacity prior to the arrival of the newer Rotom fleet. These cars were always placed between the locomotive and the first Bombardier bi-level coach on the train. Just west of Fullerton, the former Union Pacific Anaheim branch line used to cross the San Bernardino subdivision at a location known as Basta. Today, the railroad diamonds have been removed and the southern stub end of the branch is frequently used for storing intermodal well cars. Santa Fe built its first station in Fullerton in 1888. The current structure, built in 1930, still hosts Amtrak passengers and is fully staffed. Connections can be made here with other transit services including Orange County Transit Authority's bus system. In addition to Amtrak's Pacific Surfliner and Southwest Chief, all Metrolink 91 and Orange County Line trains stop here. Three tracks pass through the station with the outside tracks having boarding platforms. A fourth stub end track was completed in 2011 on the south side of the station complex and is used for Fullerton to Mission Viejo Metrolink shuttle trains. Fullerton, like most other stations on the surf line in Orange County, features a pedestrian bridge over the tracks for access to tracks 3 and 4. In addition to the former Santa Fe station, both the former Union Pacific Fullerton station and the Pacific Electric Interurban Depot still stand here as well. Built in 1923, the Union Pacific Depot was relocated to its present-day location in 1980 from its original site on the south side of the tracks and across Harbor Boulevard. The 1918-built Pacific Electric Depot is situated across the parking lot. Both structures have been repurposed as restaurants. Fullerton Station is constantly abuzz with activity. An extra-long train number three rolls into Fullerton on a cloudy morning running about an hour behind schedule. The Southwest Chief typically uses Track 1, the track closest to the station building, when stopping at Fullerton. F-125 locomotive number 940 brings a Metrolink train into Fullerton Station bound for Los Angeles. Most Metrolink trains are operated with cab cars leading into LA Union Station and with locomotives leading outbound. On occasion, sets are reversed and locomotives lead inbound trains. Several General Electric ES44 and Dash 9 locomotives move a westbound intermodal through Fullerton.
Freight traffic can be seen around the clock through the station, including intermodal, manifest, ethanol, rock, and steel slab trains along with the La Mirada local, which serves several industries around Fullerton on weekdays. A cloudy day in the summer of 2010 reveals one of the La Mirada locals backing east through Fullerton with a Santa Fe caboose. The local was likely bound for the BNSF Kimberly Avenue yard where it would switch several industries located along the Kimberly Clark spur track. In the evening light, a southbound Pacific Surfliner approaches the platforms for its stop in Fullerton. After dark, another La Mirada local heads back west through Fullerton. Hitching a ride on the train is retired San Diego Coaster F40 locomotive number 2105, which is being moved from Coast Rail Services in Anaheim to the BNSF Commerce Yard for temporary storage awaiting final shipment to the Southern California Railway Museum. <laughs> 